Let's go and find our seats, everybody. Let's go and find our seats. Welcome back. I love how friendly we all are and, and chatty. I'm as guilty of that as anybody. And hello to Bruce. Uh, hi, Zach. Hi, Bruce. Um, you, you notice the tie I'm wearing? <laughs> yes, Bruce, I see your tie. See. It's your theme song. Uh, that's OK. Uh, USC colors, because the team played very well yesterday. USC beat Notre Dame. It was very exciting. Um, it was really, uh, halftime was interesting because, uh, are you familiar with the film or the book Unbroken? Uh, I, have, I haven't seen the film, I've heard of the book. Uh, it opens on uh, Christmas Day. It's a yes. very inspirational story of Louis Zamperini who uh, was a USC track star in the 1930s and um, ultimately captured by the Japanese uh, after a 47 day uh, trip in a in a boat and, Life raft, yeah. and he was tortured. It was uh, he became a, 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 a inspirational speaker, Christian inspirational speaker, and uh, died in July, uh, oh, really? 97 years old. Wow. And wow. Um, I mentioned that because it was the Zamperini family at USC's halftime uh, that was honored and of course appropriately so, and it wow. prompted me to think of a story about um, a, a USC guy and a Notre Dame fan uh, who were captured by the Japanese in World War II. Well, it was, it was a USC fan and a Notre Dame fan? Yeah, they were captured uh, by the Japanese in, in World War II, okay. and, um, uh, and they were sentenced to death. And uh, the Japanese commander uh, said to the Notre Dame fellow, uh, I'm going to grant you one last request. Uh, he said, well, uh, what I'd like to do is I'd like to hear the Notre Dame fight song one last time. And then he turned to the USC fan and said, what would you like? And he said, I'd like to be shot first. 